old claw I took from Deathstroke could be useful here. Alfred, get GCPD to take a look at the final offer. More to Dixon Docks. They'll find Slade Wilson tied up and waiting for them. Along with some of Penguin's illegally obtained weapons. Uh, another anonymous tip? Will do, sir. Oppressed citizens of Gotham, your cries for help have been heard. I am Anarchy, voice of the people, here to save you from the plague of corruption that now infests this once proud city. Those hired and elected to keep us free and safe won't lift a finger. And why would they? They've been bought and paid for, encouraged to turn a blind eye. If they won't act, I will. At dawn's first light, the sources of Gotham's ruin will be destroyed. Now, back to your regularly scheduled programming of propaganda and consumerist garbage. As if there isn't enough going on tonight. I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene the Penguin mentioned. I was hoping to get a minute of your time. See, I've got a story to tell you about crime and violence, greed and vengeance. But it's also a story of redemption, of second chances, of change. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate, or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Hey, miss, over here. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow... Whoa, whoa easy I now. I ain't looking for a fight. Got a message, that's all. Anarchy says if you're gonna make a withdrawal, you better do it soon. Your actions will determine what I do with you. Officers on scene report victim appears to have fallen from a nearby building. What's so 
will have a new system. It's the bat! They say money makes the world go round, but it also makes you excellent shackles. You're tied to your job, your mortgage, your need to buy the next shiny thing your overpriced television seduces you. And that's what we can accomplish if only someone would set us free. mentioned three bombs, which means two still remain. I need to find them. I've no doubt you will, sir. Police know the victim fell from a nearby building, but there's not much else in the file. His identity might shed some light on things. Brian Murphy, an account manager at the Gotham Merchants Bank. Cause of death, internal injuries sustained on impact. Now I know what happened. Time to find out how and why. Blood spatter indicates a high velocity impact. I should check the roof. The railing here is broken. Was it an accident or was he pushed? Two sets of footprints means the victim wasn't alone. And the scattered paperwork suggests he had a briefcase. I need to find that. Interesting. There are two sets of fingerprints here. One belongs to the victim, the other to Robert Haynes, a well-known con artist. Alfred, I need the last known location of Robert Haynes. I'll send over everything I've got in case it helps. No need, sir. I already have a search area. Check your display. No more. I can't no more. Ugh. What do you want? What happened to Brian Murphy? We had a deal. He gave me the account numbers. I faked being a client and cleared out the account. In exchange, he gets a cut. It's a cut I run a hundred times. But then he starts to get nervous, tries to back out. So you threw him off a roof? I couldn't risk him warning the bank. 
I'll go to the cops. I had to protect my interests. And how'd that work out for you? Ugh. Oh. Cops investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. It'll look like a mobile satellite dish, probably on a rooftop. Disadvantage if I can't tap into the cops communications. I should hack their mobile relay station Rubio, what's your 20 on the balcony for a smoke with a menace? Those men on the balcony that could be my way in Shut case penguin murdered black mask and his lady friend we found the bastard's stubby little fingerprints right by the bodies. Yeah, we got Penguin now. I'd like to see him score him out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. He's about to do some time. Yeah, except forensics will take all the credit. And I'm the one who found the prints. That's why they call it first response. First pickings on the loot, but none of the glory. Me? I'd take the loot over the glory any day. Police believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. This crime took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis. Something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis' girlfriend. Or one of them, at least. She was no angel. Long list of priors. But nothing to indicate she was the target here. Fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. The shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. Ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height. But the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground.
These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. But these prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter, and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. The DNA here doesn't belong to either of the victims. Whose is it? The fight broke out when someone startled the shooter. It's not clear who won the fight. Could have been either one of them. I should review the evidence to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The only answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA samples against the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful, non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea. Come in, 8-2. Dispatch, Delta 4-4. Four, four. Can you raise Delta 8-2? Stand by, 4-4. Four, four. Delta 8-2. Delta 8-2, come in. Delta 8-2, come in. Delta 8-2, report. Delta 4-4. Four, four. No response from 8-2. Please proceed inside to confirm 8-2's status. 10-4, dispatch.
Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. Well played, sir. You stopped the electrocutioner with a single strike. I just used his arrogance to my advantage. A textbook move a child could have avoided. True, but I doubt the rest of them will go down as easily. If they do, we'll be eating that Christmas ham sooner than you think. have been doubled at police precincts since Lowe's murder. You'll need to find a way to sneak in that won't attract attention. Otherwise, you'll never make it to the room. Understood. Thanks. You, you saw the guy they brought in. So we, we give him space to do their little arms. But then some monster in a cave drops him from a building and a Christmas tree breaks his fall. <laughs> My board is lit up. If you don't have an assignment, please report in.
probably another water pipe bursting. Love to go take a look, but, you know, my ship's over. Lobe. Lobe understood. This won't be easy, but if I'm going to access the National Criminal Database and find out what happened at Lacey Towers, I need to find the server room without being discovered. before these assassins get to him. Now, the closer it gets to morning, the more desperate the assassins will grow. Yeah, well, they were supposed to be guarding the crime scene, not Gavin. No wonder the bat got the drop on him. Yeah, tell them to keep their eyes open next time. <laughs> Must you be so brutal, sir? These are city employees. They're as corrupt as they come, and they're in my way. I wish you'd think twice about that approach, sir. You never know when you might need their help. At any rate, your objective is the GCPD server room. I've marked it on your map. Serves <laughs> <laughs> him right. Yeah, 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 That's the oh, 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 yeah. Right in the jaw! The bat's here! Oh. stand a chance against that many armed men. I can use Deathstroke's remote claw to pass above their heads undetected. Alright, listen up. While you jokers are playing cleanup for a black game, I was making us some money. I've worked out a deal with our pal Black Mask. If any of us can kill the bat before the assassins get to kill the bat before the assassins get to him, we get the bounty. All 50 million dollars. <laughs> Captain Gordon allowed all the perps in the holding cells to go free. You mean we set him loose? Little prison riot, right here in GCPD. Makes him look like he doesn't have control, right? I like it. How do we make it happen? Let me think of... Warm up! Who you really are! This is your They're offering a reward of $25,000 for information... You got no... Process this best. Oh, it's gonna come eventually. Reminder to all units we'll be accepting donations and cards for Commissioner Love's family in the break room. Please come by and pay your respects. So, what does this disruptor of yours do? Little bit of this, little bit of that. Mostly, though, it does a whole lot of none of your damn business. Oh, you want to play it like that? All right. Maybe I'll have the guys over at Evidence Lockup take a look. 
They can get kind of rough, though. Hope it's not fragile. You want to play the hardball, buddy? Not you again! Talk, or you won't be walking anywhere, ever. No way! You gotta answer for dropping me off that rooftop, buddy! No, you have to answer to me. How does this disruptor work? Ask one of the pigs! They got it in evidence lockup! How about we take a little walk up to the roof? Okay, okay, you win! It, it jams weapons, overrides electronic locks, all right? Now you gotta let me go! How'd that work out for you last time? Who told you that, huh? Your buddy Anarchy? He will wipe this city clean of your filth. Yeah? this flat Get yourself to a shelter. You kidding? That's where they round us up. Hey, you don't get it. Anarchy gets it, but you... Hey, you don't get it, man. if I don't know who he is. Guy's a mystery, complete friggin' enigma. Yeah, great advice, thanks. are justified, who acts completely outside the system. The system is broken. Barbara, wait. Suspect. 
guys in your vicinity, man. Look alive. Pull this off, we'll all get to retire somewhere nice and warm. Give me five minutes with any of these freaks, and I'll have a begging for the mothers. You'd think with the number of skulls we crack, folks would think twice about messing with us. In the station, no less. What's going on down there? He's here now! Gotta show this bastard what it means when you try to muscle the GCPD! Another one! He dropped another cop! Hey, we got a police down over here! Watch your back! Fan out! Fan out! Suspect is present and hostile! How long you think you can keep this up, Batman? You're outnumbered and outgunned! It's over! Roger. This guy knows police tactics. He's taking us to school. Damn it! Stop letting him do that! Verify. Officer down. Come on, man. Your heart's still beating. Up on me. You don't want to end up like this guy. Keep your heads up. Spread out and find me that damn perp. Nobody's impervious. I've been on the force long enough to know that. Sound off. The badges took one of you down. Casualty confirmed. He's alive but unconscious. He's over here! Sweep the room. Watch the corners. He's just a man. No problems here. Anyone got his 20? You still out there?
Shouldn't you be searching your quadrant? Eh, I'll leave that for the boys in SWAT. Why's that? Ain't you hurt? Brandon made a deal with Black Mask. They're trying to kill the bat and collect the bounty. You gotta be kidding me. Gordon know about this? Probably, but what's he gonna do? What can he do? Hell, he's lucky if Brandon and those guys ever listen to him. Looks like you got to <laughs> back. a security protocol I'm not familiar with, and the windows are reinforced glass. Hmm. The disruptor in the evidence locker might do the trick. the evidence locker. I need an alternate route. The evidence locker, sir? Well, according to these schematics, it adjoins an old elevator shaft which you can access via the infirmary. You should be able to break in from there. I've added it to your map.
good. You've made it to the infirmary. Now look for an entrance to an old elevator shaft. That will take you to the evidence locker. Got it. I should be able to bypass the security on the server room door. Call it in. Let's get him to Gotham General. Will do. As soon as he stabilizes.
easy. I need access to the National Criminal Database. It's right here. You must spend a lot of time here. Cool poem box. You're bypassing the network security. Hmm. But you'll need to physically bridge the intranet to the external telecom wires if you want to uplink remotely. This kind of knowledge could get a young girl into a lot of trouble. They run under the building. What does? The telecom wires. You can access them through the sewers. Wait. Why do you do what you do? Because I made a promise. Get out of here! <laughs> said the disruptor can be used to jam their weapons. Yes, Suspect spotted and engaged! Somebody take a swing already! Hands up, freak! you, but you need to stay out of my way. Uh, never! Listen, I'm on your side. My side? My side works within the law. My side doesn't leave suspects with broken bones and missing teeth. We've earned Gotham's respect. If that were true, I wouldn't leave. Gordon, clear the line of fire! Hold your fire! If he moves, take him down. You've got nowhere to run. Move, Gordon! I'm taking him down! These streets are ours! We're the law here! Make a difference. Um, 
I've highlighted a nearby manhole on your map. Those sewer tunnels lead directly under the GCPD. Good work, Alfred. Oh, and, sir, do try to keep out of the uh, uh, muck down there. Remember who has to clean your suit. Uh, hello? Hello, Batman? It's Barbara. Sorry for uh, hacking into your comms, but I need a favor. Some evidence crates have gone missing. Army grade stuff, and no one here is doing anything about it. So I'm sending you their GPS location information. Use your weapon disruptor on any crates you find. It'll fry their circuits and render the stuff useless. <laughs> 